due to requests, I'm going to do a follow-up video to the unboxing I did for the TP-Link 3040 wireless router. Um, after working with the router device for about a week, I've come to a couple different conclusions. First and foremost is that it is definitely a compact and durable little device. Um, there are many things that I enjoyed about it. The battery life was good for um, three to five hours of general use. Um, it worked really well. I had it set up. A couple of my cameras run wirelessly. They d upload directly to YouTube and I was able to do that through my cellular carrier's wireless stick plugged into the TP-Link and then networked um, 802.11 over the over the cameras. Um, one thing uh, I did notice though is that with continuous use, so if I were to use it um, plug, plugged in all the time, it requires a reboot. I had to reboot it every day, um, sometimes twice a day, which was a little bit inconvenient. However, when I was on the go, using it as a hotspot for coffee meetings or boardroom meetings, things like that, it actually worked really, really well. Um, the configurability of it, there's so many options, it's just ridiculous. I have an old, uh, slightly older wireless router in my home with um, the current firmware and I have to admit that this little portable device from TP-Link has even more features. It allows you to control your IP, uh, different access modes, whether it's wireless or cellular or even wired, like access point mode. All around a fantastic little device. Um, the price point is absolutely excellent. The range, you have to realize it's a miniature product and for a miniature product it has excellent range. Um, comparing it to a, an industry standard sort of residential router, I'd say it was um, average to above average. Not excellent though, um, being a miniature device after all. Otherwise, I would highly recommend this product to anybody who's looking for something small and portable with a built-in battery, easy to go, quick to charge, and um, efficient. Thanks very much, and uh, tune in for another review.